scraps for bro. He started eating bullets, started using them as a shake weight, and started yelling at him and was like, Booga, 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 booga. And so it's bro and so Nah, so it's the fact that CJ had to put a f Pikachu here because his was out. You think we didn't notice that? Booga. We got out. Close. Uh, stick with out in front of uh, bro. Two hundred K, two hundred K. I am a little sick, so bear with me. You know what I'm saying? But we are gonna react to this video. We gonna check it out. Shout out to boy CJ, and uh, yeah, let's get into it, man. Just look at him chewing. Bro is crying in joy, looking like. Yeah, all righty, ladies and gentlemen. Gather around, gather around. Uh -oh. Fill in the courthouse and leave space for your fellow niggas. Because, ladies and gentlemen, today is a very special day. Because today we have a special trial. Okay, yes, I me. know. This is fing bonkers. Sound off the SOS alarm. CJ's uploading twice in a month. I, I, I Barely. Know it's bad. I'm really trying to fix this. I'm so sorry. But, anyways, uh, let's just go ahead and cut to the chase. Hey, Jesus Christ. No, not that type of pickle. <clears throat> uh, the dinosaur slaying butt ass naked caveman. Pickle. This is a problem. This man is the definition of savagery. This man must be studied. That is why I've made a personal exhibit for this nigga. Exhibit P. So, uh, e before pickle, we get started, disclaimer. If you've not seen that new season of Baki, uh, get the f out. Because uh, you will be spoiled. But if you don't care. <laughs> Exhibit P. <laughs> Y'all are right. Uh -uh. Ladies and gentlemen, I welcome you. That nigga's childish. <laughs> P. <laughs> oh my god, bro. I feel like shit, man. Oh my god. <laughs> Using R. Kelly's face is bonkers. Y'all are right, ladies and gentlemen. I welcome you all to Exhibit P. A special case study of a primitive man named Pickle, who, uh, to be quite frank, Got Isakai. I mean, if you really think about it, he really did. Bro's a good 65 million years old that was living in the Jurassic Age. What then the bro hell? got frozen and was found in the present day, which basically is a new world. Now, ladies and gentlemen, there's what the a the fuck? Was that a dragon tail on this nigga? Was found in the present day, which basically is a new What the fuck was he frozen fighting? That's a T-Rex? What kind of fucking nigga was fighting a dinosaur when he got frozen? Oh, hell no. Nah. I thought this was like a tail at first because it went so fast. This nigga was squabbling with a T-Rex. World. Now, ladies and gentlemen, there is a very long list of people that got violated by this nigga. So we might as well just start from the beginning. Victim number one. This dumbass scientist right here. You're a victim. Mm. Mm. Background character. Fuck, I need a number. 1776. So he's a part of the team of scientists with literal Albert Einstein to preserve his body. Now, this idiot right here is the catalyst to all the bullshit. Because he said, well, I mean, why don't we just revive him, Doc? I mean, what's the harm in that? And of course, I'll... What? All right, first of all, stupid nigga. What's the harm in reviving him? Did you not see he was frozen, squabbling on fucking T-Rex? What's the harm? If he gets, if he wakes up, we're all fucking cooked. White people shit, put the emotes in the chat, please. Dumbass nigga, stupid nigga. Albert Einstein was like, you fucking numbskull, you're out of your damn mind. But background character 1776 was so persistent with it. So about 90 days pass and Pickle is still not. Oh, woke God. Up Here he go. Here he go. I knew it. There you go. White people doing white people shit. Uh, all white people times of the day and wonder why they die. Hey, Jay, thank you for the gift of sub. Appreciate you. Scientists started getting mad disrespectful. He was like, heh, stupid primitive caveman. What a fucking failure. Then bro dropped his cigarette ashes? on his face. And after this, bro was having a meat beat session with a damn Playboy <laughs> magazine. I'm about to blow. 
I'm like, first of all, you dirty ass nigga, why are you still looking at magazines? My nigga, you the primitive one if you don't get a damn phone. So then this man decided to commit a canon event. He was like, mm, this Snickers is ass. I'm craving some steak. So this idiot gets the bright idea to go to the back and fry up some T-Rex corpse and have a T-Rex steak. So while this man is frying up his steak and slathering some of that A1. This nigga got... Have a is this nigga cooking with Remy Martin? That VSOP? T-Rex steak. So while this man is frying up... This nigga... Lemmy. He's cooking with alcohol. This nigga's cooking with... Oh my God. With the VSOP? His steak and slathering some of that A1 sauce on that motherfucker. His goofy ass is like, Man, not even Gordon Ramsay's had a T Rex steak before. <laughs> Fuck you, Ramsay. So while this man is chowing down on some T Rex, he looks behind him, and this seven foot big ass oh naked my man God. is standing behind him and looking at him like, Can I get a bite? Bruh. And he just grabs the steak and eats it whole. So yeah, uh, uh. must have been shifting up in there. Does that man pickle smelt what he was cooking and came back to life? But <laughs> I guess that wasn't enough because he started looking at bro like a snack. So oh bro shit! Bro started shitting bricks. He was saying, "Hey, hey, 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 back the." F he was fighting a T Rex gang. He was fighting a T. You got a gun? He was fighting a T Rex. When he was frozen, please be for real. Please be, be I'm, I'm not even a big gun at that. Nigga got a little pistol but whistle. The fuck is you doing? Fuck up Tarzan, I'll fucking shoot you. But that man Pickle did not care, bro. So this time a girl. So he is up shooting this man. But that man got straight point blank hit markers. Pickle looked at them little bullets like, oh, what is this? It throws the bullets at this man with the force of a gun. He oh. basically shot, bro. Oh my God. Worse, the nigga pissed himself. And after that, it was wrapped for bro. He started eating bullets, started using them as a damn shake weight, and started yelling at him and was like, Ooga, 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 Ooga. And so it's bro and so Nah, it's the fact that CJ had to put a fucking Pikachu here because his dick was out. You think we didn't notice that? Ooga. Nigga got dick out. Claws. Nigga ate stick with dick out in front of uh, bro. Wait, so was he frozen with dick out? That's a that's a like was he frozen fighting the T-Rex with dick out? Yes. Okay. And that man was gone. He didn't know what the hell to do. He got up and started walking like he done took like 10 shots of tequila. Oh, this hell man no. then gave this man Antonio Brown levels of CTE. But by the C grace of oh God, my God, this man seals him away in this vault. So later on, this man done called the cops and everything. But he started telling them, oh, no, 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 this ain't enough. C -c Call the National Guard. C -c Call the goddamn military. But this man started looking at him stupid. He was like, sir, calm down. He's only one man. So unless that motherfucker's King and Kong. I think we'll be just fine. Nigga, but this he man is. is about to have everybody on speed dial. A whole blast open through the wall, and this man pickle looking thirsty as hell. So he just started going on a rampage. Started throwing oh police cars. So while this man is on a tail, the police chief is like, "Oh hell no, nah, this above my pay grade." <laughs> Five stars on this nigga. Call the, National Guard. <laughs> Call the military. So they brung out the whole military. They even pulled out the same damn mecha suit from the Avatar movie. But that oh man pickle wasted no time. He destroyed the mecha in one hit and he had Damn. my brother hit panicking he was like oh hell no don't pay me enough for this shit i'm ejecting out this hoe and that man got sent in the spin cycle and just went flying back and then that man just proceeds to decimate the entire army i ain't gonna lie bro if oh I'm my god this shit, i'm calling the president and i'm like hey nigga, open the box and drop that shit. drop a nuke on this motherfucker right now desi thank you for the sub drop a nuke on this bitch right <laughs> Hey, if you fuck with me, G-O-D, you'll drop a nuke on this motherfucker. G-O-D, if you fuck with me, <laughs> you'll drop a nuke on this bitch. <laughs> Cause who the fuck? Listen, listen. <laughs> Hell no. But there is only one way to reason with this savage. This man Stridum came out, stripped butt booty naked. What? Sat down with this man and said, Okay, let's see what we're working with. What? Whoa. Nice cock. <laughs> Just like that, Pickle was off to Japan. Nice cock. <laughs> so when Pickle arrives in Japan, this man commits a very horrendous action. And um, this is going to lead into victim two. Oh, 
God. The what? fucking news reporter. You're what? a victim. Mm. Oh, there we go. oh, shit. And uh, what happened to her? Oh, Lord bless our souls. Oh, roll the clip. Breaking news, breaking news. A primitive man found in America now arrives in Japan. Ladies and gentlemen, you've heard that right. I'm your host, Donovan Barnacle, and I'm Clarence Dicklord. Now, as we can see, the primitive man has just landed and has just arrived in the Tokyo airport. Multiple hey, sources fine. indicate that this man is all the way from the Jurassic period. And there he is, ladies and gentlemen. God, Our damn. crew is live right now. Please tell why he is y'all secure why are y'all security being security for this nigga please y'all hover running around this nigga like bro like like fine ass news reporter okay dude my god look at that man clarence my god donovan that mother is huge it looks like tarzan just hopped out the screen and now we go live to our reporter tiffany tyrannicock tiffany is it tyrannicock I mean, yes i'll go up to him right now oh shit. I mean, excuse me sir can man, i get your opinion uh, on gear five and um Ladies and gentlemen, um, Pickle committed the horrible act of, uh... No. In front of everybody? In front of the whole airport is crazy. On, on national TV? Oh my... Get this shit now! And on that day... Pickle violated a news reporter on national news. Dear God, somebody please stop this nigga. So after that incident, damn near every single fighter in the Bakiverse wants to fight this nigga. They broke into the military base and everything. These niggas is horny. All to yeah. fight a caveman. What the fuck is wrong with y'all? That CTE is kicking in. And of course, low key, CJ, you did your shit with this. Right now, I wanna put I wanna fucking play Crash Bandicoot. This song, the song in the background, is really got me wanting to play Crash Bandicoot, bro. This nigga is he's like, he really like leaned into the Ooga Booga for real. Hold on, listen to the. They broke into the military base and everything. These niggas is horny. All to fight a caveman. What the fuck is wrong with y'all? That CTE mm -hmm. is kicking in. And of course, the most. It's a, it's a, it's like one of the songs from uh from just uh Crash Bandicoot game. I I can't remember which one, but yeah. Disrespectful man in anime history decided to pull up. Nah, but before this happened, I'm sorry, I gotta sidetrack real quick. How this man got in the base makes absolute no sense. This huh? nigga walked up to the door, armed guards and everything, and his sheer presence hypnotized all of them and made them start fighting each other. Oh, I hell no. Nah. Fuck a and gun. I don't need that shit. Bro, put him in a Genju suit with his sheer presence. Dog just put the entire Uchiha clan on fraud alert. Look at bro, he's punching himself. Himself? And this man said, y'all made the correct decision to fight yourselves instead of me. So you're forgiven. This slices the gate open with, with his, his fucking bare hands. Bare hands? This man, is the most disgusting nigga I've ever seen on a screen. So back to where we were at earlier. This man Pickle did not pay anybody any attention until the boogeyman himself came. So then Yujiro just decides to break all laws of physics and bro forces himself through laminated glass. Nigga, what the what? fuck? Am I watching? And then it just a back, back hell, nah, bro. Whoever wrote Baki, you are off a of perk, my nigga. Then he says, "Hey, buddy, you want a bro fist?" So then these two have the manliest fist bump of all time. And this man Pickle was like, "You big T-Rex." Then Yujiro flipped bro and put him on his ass, and he was astonished. He was like, "Holy shit!" I actually had to use 1% of my power. So after this what incident, the they decided to move Pickle to an arena. And while he was in this arena, they threw a bunch of animals at him. And this leads into our next victim, a Siberian tiger. Oh, shit. You're a victim. You're a victim. They got a Siberian tiger that hasn't eaten in five days, but it did not matter at all. Pickle got up and looked at that thing like, Ooh, you look tasty. It pounces on the tiger and breaks his spine. Bro made that nigga the letter C. My God, somebody get Peter on the line. Yo, what do you do with this nigga? Like, like for real, like for real. What do you do with him? You can't, he can't keep getting away with this. What do you do with him? Fine. I actually feel bad for this tiger. That is a terrible way to go out. And then bro eats. Eat. Oh, he is not human. So then Pickle decided to run the gauntlet of fighters. So with that, we moving straight into victim four. 
Retsu. Your victim. This man Retsu got absolutely embarrassed. Pico was playing with this man like he just got a new toy for Christmas. So when this man jumped in the ring, Pickle wasted no time. He bitch slapped him. Damn. The the God damn. Dude already put him on his ass five seconds into the fight. Damn. You can see the frustration in Retsu's face. He's like, oh God, I think I'm fucked up. Think, <laughs> nigga, you done fucked up. Out here trying to fight a big ass caveman, you fucking buffoon. So then Retsu starts landing strikes. Bro thought he was him for a moment, but Pickle pulled his face and knocked him out cold. And then Pickle picks him up with tears in his eyes, and he's like, Thanks for the meal! And takes a bite out of his shoulder. Oh my oh god! Oh my he god! He's taking multiple bites! Bruh, bruh. He's. Bro, the nigga just hungry. The bite. Oh, Lord, have mercy. We about to start smoking on that red suit pack. And just look at him chewing. Bro like it's fucking bubble gum. Looking like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, the flavors are melting on my tongue. Then bitch slaps him in the ground again. Oh, Lord, red suit pack it up, bro. Pack it the fuck up. Oh, bro my. is making a master Don't get up. of kung fu. The master oogway of this verse is fraud. <laughs> So it got so bad that this man had to abandon all of his technique and started running at this man with rolling punches and crying and throwing punches like a child having a temper tantrum. And that man Pickle was looking at him like, what's wrong with you? It slaps him on the ground. <laughs> nah, 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 bro was getting his ass beat so bad. Bro started seeing his own force ghost. Bro. Not his own ghost. Bro got hit so hard, his soul came out of his body. <laughs> But I guess his soul gave him a pep talk because bro actually knocked him down. But it was all too late. Pickle jumps up and what lands the fuck on all jump? fours and turns oh into fucking rope. Boy. Wait, Pickle jumps. Look. Do I have to say anything at all? Look at how this nigga, bro, 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 bro. I'm not fighting this. Up and lands on all fours and turns into fucking Roman Reigns. Hey, real quick. We got new merch, man. There's the uh, Share a Smile drop that had just released a couple of days ago. We got it in white, black, and tan. I bought back some of the old merch that was selling really good because you guys requested it. So uh, make sure you go check out the store. It will be linked in the description. And enjoy the rest of the video, man. Peace. He lines this man up and spears this nigga. Sit bro all the way back to the locker room. KO. And it was over. That man Pickle said, get the fuck out of my ring. And after that, Pickle laid his leg. Oh my God. Bro said, it's time to grub. And on that day, Retsu lost a leg. And Damn. And it became a whole meal if Albert Einstein ain't tranquilize him. But look at your dumb ass. Now you got a peg leg. Oh, peg leg ass nigga. Shouldn't have been so horny to fight a caveman. So after Pickle decided to make this man an amputee, Pickle went out for a night of fun. And this is where we're introduced to another victim. Random nigga 47. Random oh, 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 oh. Bro. So as we can see, random nigga 47 is out here on a nightly stroll looking like he on the prowl. Probably looking to beat up on some poon poon. But little did he know that he was the one being hunted by another man on the prowl. So while this man decides to go in a dark alley and take a leap, this man put this giant snatch, bro. Dude was using the garbage bags as camouflage. Oh my. Bro just got bro. assassinated Vietnam style. And bro came out and bro, took why? his old fit. Oh my oh, God. Oh shit. Look what he did to them jeez. <laughs> oh my God. Big ass fucking fit. Them. them holes is folded. So after Pickle committed the taboo of creasing a man's J's, he ends up pulling off probably one of the greatest feats in anime history. So while this man is walking, he ends up crossing the road with the red light. And if you don't look both ways before you cross the street, a certain someone would send you to another world. Truck on. Damn. Oh. Damn. <laughs> Oh, shit. 
over. Oh, hell no. Well, impossible. He's taking out Shrunkoon. Damn. And ladies and gentlemen, documented on that day in the streets of Tokyo, Shrunkoon was slain and eaten alive. Niggas eating so the meat out the fucking back of the truck. The isekai god, this man Katsumi sent a bunch of his goons to spin back for Retsu. Then Hanayama's big Yakuza ass decide to pull up. Like, Jesus, bro, how the hell are you 19? So Hanayama decided to test Pickle's gangster by holding this knife with their bare hands, but his efforts were futile. Pickle sends this 300 pound man child flying. And then look at this idiot right here. Bro really punched him thinking he bro, you really something. thought, bro, like. Grabbed that man's arm and turned it into a knife. Oh! Turn that nigga's arm into this mango skin. Bro. Bro. <laughs> he gonna do something. He gonna grab that man's arm and turned it into a Check. Check. Look at this. Literally. Mango skin. That, that bro. A noodle. And this bum looking like a Batman Gotham crook, looking like it's the bat. So he started throwing punches, but Pickle hit him with his signature move. So after Hanayama stops Pickle from taking more victims, Baki finally decided to pull up for himself. So Pickle puts out his fist asking for a bro fist. So Baki reaches out and Pickle does the exact same move Yujiro did to him. Oh God, he's learning. And look at his smug ass face. Oh, hell no. Nah. But Baki was like, hell no. Nah. Roundhouse kick that nigga. Damn. But Pickle ate this kick and looked at him and said, follow me. So later what? that night, he brings Baki back to the arena. And this man wasted no time. Bro hit him with a Damn! And since Bucky flying to the States, Lord have mercy, he done made the main character a victim. You're a victim. Mm -hmm. So after Pickle added the main character to his list of victims, another man stepped up to challenge the caveman, Katsumi Orochi. Bro. Bro was determined to get it back in blood for Retsu. This man went on a devious training arc and learned how to throw a punch over Mach 1 speed. God they even damn. rented out the whole damn Tokyo Dome so all of his disciples could watch him fight this nigga. But little did they know, they were gathering for a public execution. Oh, shit. So the fight starts and Katsumi already comes out the gate swinging. But that man Pickle took that like, no, 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 not today. Who can beat this, this nigga? Across the stadium. Uh. <laughs> And then Pickle does something absolutely terrifying. He takes the exact stance as you do. Oh shit. Bro, I would quit right now. So Pickle comes in swinging. Katsumi hits him with a nasty gut check and actually made this man drop to his knees. Pickle was like, oh God, me so strong. And just slapped him in the face. But unfortunately for Katsumi, there's a downside with such great power. Cause since bro is basically punching at the speed of sound, his body kinda can't handle it. Cause oh, he's shit. fucking up his hands. So this entire fight was a war of attrition. Basically to see how many blows Pickle could take before Katsumi kicks the bucket. So after hitting Pickle with his most powerful shot, he knocked him down, but his arm is just completely oh, God destroyed. Damn. showing and everything looks like an ate up chicken wing. So bro thinks he's won. Everybody in this motherfucker is cheering but in reality pickle was not knocked out he was actually sleeping oh, oh my god oh, <laughs> hell no. that nigga hell taking no. a nap to conserve his energy because he knew bro was done for it everybody in the arena was like oh, oh shit Lord, our great leaders cooked even katsumi knew he was cooked bro basically said well i'm cooked pickle, <laughs> so go ahead Eat my ass. Eat my ass? Okay. Oh! And with that, Pickle took that man's arm. And I ain't gonna lie, this is how you can tell Katsumi done lost all his brain cells. Bro was out here saying, Oh, how do I taste pickle? Do I taste good? Like nigga, oh, what hell are you no. about this? You're about to bleed out. Not just that, you about to become a whole four-piece combo. Arms, legs, and everything. I guess the blood counts as best. But that man pickle actually left bro said nah nigga you taste like raisin canes unseasoned oh. and left bro there well i mean oh. 
At least he got off the hook for tasting like shit. Hold on, hold on. Raisin K's kind of good. Well, the sauce. You know what I'm saying? Ra Ra Raisin K's ain't that good. But the sauce, the sauce, make it, you know what I'm saying? If, take it from like a a six to a, to an eight, you know? Chick-fil-A better. So after Pickle took another body part from a fighter, he was about to commit the biggest violation of 2023. And ladies and gentlemen, they the have next nine victim victims? on our list, Yo. the steroid... How many fucking episodes is this, bro? Nine victims? Somebody got to put this nigga down, bro. Tranquilize, bro. Feed this nigga tranquilizer at all times. Golly. God himself pulled up. Bro told Pickle, go ahead, get your ass up. So Jack ran at him and hit him with a Trenbalone punch. And Pickle was confused. He was like, oh, what a natty punch. So then these two commit the biggest A-yo pause moment of 2023 this man jack said you wanna have a bite off what did you pray today what do you say caveman come give daddy a big old kiss and they start having a bite off their faces are literally in each other's mouths but i guess jack's smooch wasn't strong enough because pickle picked him up and started spinning him around like a helicopter and threw him across the ring and this man Jack probably suffered one of the most grotesque injuries I've ever seen in an anime. He bit off his face. Oh my god. Bro made this nigga two face but horizontal. Oh so my god. Up for the spear. But this man Jack said, I ain't going out like no bitch. And he is up throwing this man in these stands. Goes up in the stands. Damn. Suplexes him out of the stands. And somehow, by the grace of God, dude was actually popping off for a little bit. Then he bit off his ear. Ah. Oh. Yo, this man Jack got a biting fetish or something. But I can say this with no doubt, bro is truly a freaky frog. But this him pissed Pickle off to the max. Pickle hit this man with the most disgusting four-piece combo. Bro goes in for the punch, takes Jack's hit, and lands up. Damn! Bro, look at this nigga's neck up here. Bro, his face was facing down. That shit did a whole 180. His chin is in the air, okay? His chin went from here to up here, bruh. That nigga ain't got no jaw left. Pickle sent Jack to the shadow room. Bro juggled him and everything, even hit him with a Mortal Kombat X-ray. Oh he hell no! Emote on him, nah, bro. But no cap though. Pickle Loki, lucky he did not go in on Jack to eat him, cause bro had a whole special move even when he was unconscious. Bro would have gave him the middle fingers of death. Oh, but this is not the end of Jack. Cause dude woke up out of the hospital and went back to the arena. What the fuck? I ain't gonna lie. I respect the determination. Hey, Rusty, you took a bow and said, Forgive me for uh leaving in the middle of our fight. Now take this two stuff foot up your ass. God dude damn. I'm constantly kicking Pickle in the face, giving him the feet and everything. This man must main jury. He is not beating the freaky frog allegations. <laughs> so this man Pickle's primal instinct started kicking in and he started running away. Bro was like, get this freaky frog away from me. But then he stopped and thought to himself, Ooh, God, I'm being bitch right now. I'm no bitch. So he runs at him and hits him with the Daquan special. Damn. Oh, my God. Oh, my goodness. Bro. See, you should have just waited and healed from your fade. Because you was, you, was, you was doing some mixing. You was hitting him. But it just was, it was, it, it don't work, hey. And Pickle pulled his ass, oh my goodness, oh he Lord. made him a Beyblade. And it was over. Jack's dumb ass woke back right up in the hospital. Bruh. So this <laughs> man Jack runs out and tries to fight him again. But Baki was like, bro, stop. You're just going to get your ass whooped again. That's why dad only cares about me. Certified back he ends up telling crazy. him that Pickle picked him up after the fight took him to the top of a building and hanged his unconscious body so he could go back and eat his prey. And this man, Jack, was Oh, my shook. God. This nigga was like, oh, hell no. I really did get cooked. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, Exhibit we've reached P. the end of the road. 
Baki comes back to get his get back. Will he be able to stop this prehistoric menace? Nope. Well, I mean, he put up the best fight. Oh my God, the damage he took was ridiculous. Pickle jumped up all the way to the roof of the arena and dropped him on his back, knocking this man unconscious. Then when he woke up, he figured out his internal organs were fucked. Damn. Damn. Baki was popping off this entire fight. Bo hit him with a back slap. And his nigga in pain like his dad just whooped his ass with a belt and just continued to whoop his ass. Pickle was shook. Dude even sent him flying in the stands. So while Baki's gassing himself up with his MC plot armor, Pickle said enough of this bullshit. I'm tired of this disrespect. Oh shit. Hell. And this man started stepping on him. Bro started playing Thug Nificent. Started stomping on that nigga at a light speed. Then he... I hate being sick because, bro, this shit is hilarious. And I can't fucking laugh how I want to laugh. Look at. Bro, look at the. <laughs> oh my god, bro. Bro, I want to laugh so bad. Start Fuck. stomping on that nigga at a light speed. Then he uppercutted this man <laughs> to the roof. Bro was thinking in his head midair. Damn, I'm getting good. Then he turned Bo into a roly poly. But this man Baki ended up Ooh, unlocking we've, Ultra Instinct. We've, oh, we've, oh my god. Nigga ain't having kids. Baki had this man pickle in pain. Nigga was on the ground hitting that Chun Li spinning bird kick. But unfortunately for Baki, that uppercut to the dick sealed his fate. Oh shit. Because the dog was ready to be released. Now you see, Pickle already had that dog in him. But now, the dog is off the leash. He ends up getting all his primal memories back. This nigga has gone full primal. This is who Liver King wants to be, damn it. And this is his final form. The legend of Ooga Booga. Oh, And fuck? this man Baki no. was looking like, oh my God. <laughs> Why did I punch him in the dick? So they started beating Damn. the shit out of each other. These boys was having a war. But somehow, some way, Baki had him on the ropes. But this man, Baki, sold. Nigga sold the whole fight. Bro just walked up to him and said, hey, man, let's just throw hands till somebody get knocked the fuck out. And with that, they did. And to nobody's surprise, Baki got knocked the fuck out. Bruh. Hey, yo. <laughs> Nigga sold, bro. Bruh. And with that, Pickle took no L's, and this wild beast is still on the run. May God help every single person in this universe. Jesus. So yeah, fuck. that's that. Bro made it, but with stipulations. We're locking this savage beast in a cage, and he's to be watched 24-7 to yeah. prevent any more victims getting made a four-piece combo. Well, that's that. Until next time, ta-ta! Damn. Damn. Hey, W, uh, let me be it, guy. I want to laugh so bad at so much shit, but, bro, being fucking sick sucks, bro. That was a great fucking video, though. But, uh, yeah, great video, guy. Okay? <laughs>